What I want to do here is I want to come in and just, I want to thin this piece down to be able to make at least one sort of decent size projectile point out of it. And I want to do this to get as big a flakes kind of as I can as possible. So first thing is first. So when you're, when you start working on reducing down a chunk of rock to make a projector point out of, you want to look for places where you have angles that are less than 90 degrees. If it's less than 90 degrees, you can strike it and you can get your flakes to come off and you can control them. So this has plenty of those kinds of angles, but I want to get as big a flakes as I can out of this to use as tools and, and that sort of thing. But it does have a little bit of a doodad that sticks out here. That's not good. I got to get rid of that too. Um, but the first thing I want to get rid of is this little lump that sticks out up here. One possible way of doing that would be to come to this side and strike it right here and take a flake down this edge. That'll create a very thick flake, but that flake could be very good for like making a scraper out of or something like that. So I think I might try that out. The other possibility is what I could do is just come off of this edge right here, resting it on my leg and bink a bink make two or three flakes right here and I would get rid of that as well. So um, that would be the smarter option actually. So I actually, I think that's what I will do. I'm just gonna come right into here. I'm gonna strike it right in here, my hammer stone like this and just take this whole knob off right here. Boom. I kind of missed. I didn't get it to go. Uh, I didn't get as much. I hit it too close to the edge. The closer you hit to the edge, the thinner your flake's going to be and the least rock you're going to take. But other than that, it was okay. It didn't hurt me in any way. I just didn't quite hit it where I meant to. So I'll come over here. And this, these flakes, I don't want them to travel very far. So I'm just going to hit straight down on it a little bit. And just come, I'm actually going to rotate it over and just straight down. And just a bunch of series of little flakes just to kind of get rid of that irregularity out there. This is really nice rock. This stuff is super high quality. So now I'm dulling it down so I could come back and hit a flake here and run all the way down this ridge. But this in here is a little bit of a problem with this dip right here. If I hit here, the flake's going to come down to right here and it's going to hinge or step or break. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Boom, so it went down there and it went to this narrow spot in the rock where the, the, the rock narrows down and then it gets bigger here. So what happens is the energy traveled down, reached that spot and then it couldn't, it didn't have enough energy to expand out again to go the rest of the way. So it did exactly what I predicted it would do. This would be a great flake, flake for carving, working wood, uh, many different kinds of tools. So that's a good flake. And it's starting to thin the piece. So now I can switch it over to this side and take a flake right here and clean off this, this create this hinge step here. If I don't, and if I come back to here and hit it here, flake's gonna travel down and it's gonna, they're all gonna stop at this point and I'll have a mess. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna take some very short little ones again, not very big, they don't need to go very far. I just need to get off that little problem there. Bink, there. That's gone. I got rid of that hinge there. It could use one more on this side though. Bing. So now that's pretty good. This is set up. I'll grind it. This setting my platform, grinding my platform. But I might come over here first, get rid of this little thing here, and get rid of a little bit right here. There we go. Grind it. So that's where I'll be holding it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit it right in here a little ways up. I kinda want this flake to be a little bit thick and uh, take a flake that's gonna run all the way down and come out on this side of the rock over here. So holding it right here and I'm gonna hit it right up in here. So boom. Now it's hard to see, it actually ended right there and it didn't pop off but so it didn't go quite all the way to the end, but boy, that gave me a really great flake. It's a good thickness for making a projectile point out of, and it's got really good, sharp working edges. It's what we call a blade flake. It's twice as long as it is wide, and those are our blades. Um, and some parts of the world, they're made on purpose, deliberately, and then they would take blades and half them into the sides of bone, um, spear points and things to, and, and uh, or swords or clubs or whatever and use that cutting edge without modifying it at all. 
So that's an incredibly sharp edge. That's a really great flake right there. I wish it would have gone just a little bit more, but it doesn't hurt me. But once again, now I need to come back down here and take some flakes this way to sort of straighten that out. So I'll come over here and I'll take some more flakes off of this side. You take one right here. You just gotta be short. I'm just hitting straight up and down. I don't want the flakes to go too far. Lots of little itty bitty short flakes. They're not going very far at all. Now come back over here. Take a few little flakes off. Now I'm ready to go. I could hit it right here and I could take another blade-like flake running right down through here. I kind of missed. My hammer stone is developing a crack in it and that really robs it of energy. That's not a good, shouldn't be using this hammer stone probably. There we go, boom. So I got another little overshot flake. The, the bottom end of it here, the, the bulb the platform end broke on it, but it traveled across, went all the way through the other side and took out a whole bunch of the other side over there. But that's all right, I didn't lose much. I'd probably have to lose this anyway. There's a good projectile point in this flake right here as well. So, or a good tool, that's good thick. There's a lot of meat to it. So let me just see if I can hit one more here real quick. So what do I do next? Yeah, grind the platform. Get in there, strengthen that platform. It's not gonna hurt anything. Sometimes in these initial stages, you can get by without doing that. But you know what? It just doesn't hurt to be prepared. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over to here and I'm gonna strike right here and I'm gonna take a flake right down this ridge right here. So coming in. Boom, all the way across. Took out some more of that end down there. That's okay, that doesn't hurt me in the least. Once again, another great tool flake and I could make a projectile point out of that flake right there. That's another overshot flake. And I can do one more right here. What happens now though, is that my hammer stone might start to be getting to be a bit heavy and big for this. So I might switch to a smaller hammer stone like this one right here. And I'm gonna hit right in here and take the flake across here. Boom, all the way across. Once again, another great flake for cutting or scraping or whatever, and I can make a projectile point out of it.